let's use our tray and do something else. Now again, I'm starting out with it empty. With the younger children, it's nice to start out with it empty. That way there aren't a lot of distractions. I've put a seven in. Can we build a seven with a six and something else? Can you find the piece that will go with the six to build seven? Of course, it's a one. And the tray is self-correcting. It's so easy for the child to succeed. Can you build a seven with a five and something else? Right, a five. And what will go here? A two. Now, can you find a four? And what can we put with four to build seven? A three. Well, what if we start out with a three? What would we put with a three? The four. Now, let's try a two. What could we put with a two? That won't work. And you know what's going to happen? The child may pick it up and start to put it there, but immediately, it's very obvious. It's visually obvious. This doesn't fit. They get it close. They put it away. They've corrected themselves. Now, they can build a seven with a two and a five. And what if we started out with a one? What would we use? Let's see. I bet this will work this time. It does. Notice that here, the child sees a six and a one, a one and a six. Both of them give them seven. Very important concepts for children to understand. If they have the experience first, then later when we attach fancy names such as the commutative property to that, it's going to mean a lot to them. Think about learning just about anything. I've done workshops where I talked to people before I ever went to that workshop. I was very familiar with their names. And in spite of the fact that there were 40 or 50 people at the workshop, it was very easy for me to call them by their name after just a few minutes because I could attach the name that I had heard over and over again with that face. It's a lot different from walking into a workshop and not having ever met anyone before or having it, not ever having heard their name. When we know something, then just adding a little bit more makes it easier. Also notice that I use the word build. We can build a seven with a six and a one. That's a child's language. After you say that, then you can add those words plus and equals. Thank you for taking the time to explore Mortensen More Than Math. As you can see, it's the key to understanding mathematics and developing problem-solving skills. I'll be looking forward to working with you and your children.